it's one of those that, well, I mean, it's a huge miracle. I had uh, my last baby about 15 months ago, and Q, one of the hardest parts of my life. I mean, it's so wonderful having a new baby, but there was just something, oh, it was hard at home. You know, I've, I've got four kids, homeschooling, I have a business that I run, and then my husband, was he had a business that he was starting up, and so he was gone almost constantly for about a year, not quite a year, and it was, it was rough. I, there was times when, you know, and he would come home and he wasn't very present, and definitely there was stuff on my end too, like I, I was struggling with a lot of things, and I was just really busy, and you know, where he was gone so much when he would come home, it would almost disrupt what we were doing, you know? And there are times when I was like, I don't know if I wanna be married. This is just hard, this is really hard. And, but it was, I realized that it was, it had been going on for a long time, but it was having another baby that it really, and lack of sleep and all this kind of stuff just really brought a lot of things out in me. And I'm like, you know what? A lot of this is on me too and I need to change and what I've been doing for the last 10 years isn't good enough and I realized I'd been slacking on my scriptures and my prayers and you know I would I would read them almost every day I would read the scriptures almost every day and I would pray every day but it was like I would kind of give my last you know my my time with the least amount of energy behind it if that makes sense like okay I'm right ready for bed and then I would just okay, I've got, I just fall asleep reading and then I just shut them and say a quick prayer and go to sleep. And I realized that wasn't good enough, that I needed to, that a lot of the problems that we were having, a lot of them stemmed from me as well. You know, it wasn't just a one, one way street. And so I decided, you know, I'm gonna wake up 30 minutes early, which is hard because I have, I'm not getting enough sleep as it is. <laughs> so I started waking up a half an hour early and and giving the best part of my day, right? First thing in the morning, I would pray and I would read my scriptures. I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna, what am I gonna do for 30 minutes? I mean, I've been three minutes here and there for, for a long time. And so I really started filling my cup first thing in the morning. And I realized all of a sudden I felt like I had more time. It was just 30 minutes and I had more time. I had more time to get my stuff accomplished a lot of things that I, were, I was spending a lot of time with, those things started falling away. And I, I realized, ah, prior to, I'm, you know, the priorities are the ones that are coming to the top as I, as I prioritize the things that are really, truly important, the scriptures and the prayer that Heavenly Father was helping me prioritize the things that I should be most concerned about. And then I started noticing that there were miracles in my marriage. And I really like this person that I'm married to and maybe even love him a lot too. And, but more than that, I started to see a change in him too. And so I was simply just, when I would pray, I would pray for, for our hearts to be softened and for me to have humility. And I tell you what, he changed our hearts. He went above and beyond and he changed our hearts. And he has helped us truly see the important things in life your 10 year old is like, mom, dad, the Lord loves effort. He's, you know, he'll like quote stuff to us that we're just like, wow, that's cool. It's sinking in, you know? And, and it's because I'm treasuring up the spirit, scriptures and because my husband is, and they see us doing that. And, and it's, our home is just becoming heaven on earth.